thank you you are getting the audio on the video i should Good afternoon, Anil sir. This is your moderator. Here, if I am audible, then you can just click on the camera icon to switch on the camera so that we can test the audio on the video, please. Thank you. Appreciate that. We are able to see you, sir. Thank you. Uh, I am unable to uh, activate my camera because it shows error. 
no it should not be a problem what? ma'am uh, you can just click what is the error that is showing ma'am not readable error could not start video source okay so maybe the system system's camera is not working fine so you can just log off and log back in again ma'am okay i will just try again thank you thank you varad sir good afternoon am i audible to you sir yeah very much thank you sir sir uh, request you to just click on the camera icon and just test the camera as well once thank you thank you sir appreciate that okay thank you i'll be placing you on mute sir and you can unmute yourself when you want chairman sir am i audible to you yes thank you sir uh, if you can just click on the camera icon so that we can just switch on the camera as well Chairman, sir, we are able to see you. Okay, thank you. Ashim, ma'am, we are able to see you as well. Thank you. Because it is only five minutes in the meeting, we request all of you to just keep your videos open, and then you can mute yourself and unmute when required to speak. I will not mute Chairman, sir. Thank you. Pankaj sir, we are able to see you as well as we are getting an audio feed from your end. I am muted you currently. You can Thank you. Thank you, sir.
Good afternoon, ladies and gentlemen. I, Ashima Khanna, Company Secretary of Dalmian Bharat Sugar Industries Limited, welcome all the unsecured creditors at the NCLT Chennai convened meeting. The meeting is held in accordance with the NCLT order pronounced on 22nd September 2021 and notice of the meeting dated 28th September 2021 sent to all the unsecured creditors of the company. All the unsecured creditors who had an outstanding balance as per the books of accounts of the company as on the cutoff date that is 31st July 2021 are entitled to attend the meeting and vote. In view of the COVID pandemic and keeping in view the safety of all the unsecured creditors and other stakeholders, this meeting is being convened virtually as per the NCLT order and the unsecured creditors have been provided the facility to cast their vote through remote e-voting facility. The company has appointed KFIN Technologies Private Limited Registrar and Share Transfer Agent of the company to provide VC and e-voting facility for the meeting. The remote e-voting facility was available to all the unsecured creditors from 9th, uh, from 9 a.m. on October 20, uh, October 11th, 2021 till 5 p.m. on November 9th, 2021. However, those unsecured creditors who could not vote during this period may vote now during the meeting and 15 minutes thereafter. I would now take this opportunity to introduce the NCLT appointed chairperson and scrutinizer for the meeting and the management team present with us. I would first like to introduce Mr. S. Vijay Raghavan, chairperson appointed by the NCLT. Thank you, sir. Um, Mr. S. Venkateswaran, scrutinizer appointed by the NCLT. Mr. Venkateshwaran, requested to kindly unmute yourself and switch on the video as well. Thank you. So he has waved his hands in a recognition of the Thank process. Thank you. Uh, next is Mr. Bharat Bhushan Mehta, whole time director and CEO of the company. Good afternoon, everyone. Thank you. Mr. Pankaj Stogi, CEO, Sugar Business. Namaskar. Next is Mr. Anil Kataria, CFO of the company. Yeah, good afternoon, everybody. I would now request Mr. S. Vijay Raghavan to please chair the meeting and commence the proceedings. Thank you. I welcome all the unsecured creditors for this meeting, which is being conducted as per the directions of the Honorable NCLT Chane Bench. This, you are, the unsecured creditors are here to attend the meeting, virtual meeting to approve or to express or to disapprove the proposal for the scheme of amalgamation between Himshikar Investment Limited with its parent company, the Dalmia Bharats Sugar and Industries Limited. The, uh, I appreciate that the company has made enough efforts to reach out to the, all the unsecured creators and, and to facilitate uh, they are voting through remote e-voting and through e-voting during the course of the meeting. Uh, I would now request the moderator to confirm whether the requisite of 150 unsecured creditors are, uh, are already logged into the meet. Good afternoon, Chairman, sir. As of now, there are 43 investors who have currently logged in. Therefore, as per the extant rules, we will the meeting will stand postponed by 30 minutes and uh, we will reassemble at uh, 3.35. Thank you.
तो सिर्फ तुम बता दो ये ट्रांसफर
Uh, we seem to have lost the connectivity of Chairman, sir. We would be just waiting for him to join back. Once he joins, we will resume the meeting. Thank you. Uh, delay is regretted as we are trying to get connected to the chairman, sir. Patience is appreciated. Thank you. You are now. Chairman, sir, this is your moderator here. We are getting an audio feed from your end. We request you to kindly click on the I camera. am getting an audio feed. Yes. Uh, and, uh, I think others are able to hear me. Yes, sir. We are able to hear you, sir. Okay. Let us begin and uh, continue with the meeting. See, I would request the moderator to kindly indicate whether the requisite number of 150 is available of unsecuritators or have joined the meeting? Sir, as of now, there are 62 individuals who have joined in, sir. Six to Yes, the two. number of persons who have joined the meeting. Six to 62 individuals, sir. So this is still short of the quorum prescribed by the Honorable NCIT. Therefore, the persons present and voting shall be deemed to be deemed to constitute the quorum. And I hereby request that the meeting may commence. The meeting of unsecured creditors has been convened to consider and if thought fit, approve the arrangement 
embodied, embodied in the scheme. The notice dated 28 September 2021, convening the meeting of the unsecured creditors of Dalmia Bharat Sugar and Industries Limited, along with the scheme of amalgamation and explanatory statements under Section 230 to 232 of the Companies Act 2013, read with Section 102 of the Companies Act, along with other related papers, where have been sent to all the unsecured creditors at their registered, registered email addresses on 4th October 2021, and the unsecured creditors whose email addresses were not registered with the company, the same have been sent through the speed post on 6th 10th 2021. And with your permission, I will take that the notices have been read. I would now request the CEO director to explain the scheme in brief for the benefit of unsecured creditors. Thank you. Thank you, sir. I'll now touch upon briefly on the salient features of the scheme. The scheme is presented under Section 230 to 232 and other applicable provisions of the Companies Act 2013 for merger of Himshikar Investment Limited into Dalmia Bharat Sugar and Industries Limited. M. Shekhar is a wholly owned subsidiary of Dalmia Bharat Sugar. Appointed date for the scheme is 1st April 2021 or such other date as may be agreed by the board of M. Shekhar and Dalmia Bharat Sugar or as the NCLT Chennai bench may decide or approve. M. Shekhar and Dalmia Bharat Sugar would file petition under section 230 read with Section 232 of the Companies Act 2013 and other applicable provisions of the Companies Act 2013 with the NCLT Chennai for sanction of the scheme and all matters ancillary or incidental thereto. The effective date of the scheme would be the last of the dates on which the certified copy of the NCLT Chennai order sanctioning the scheme is filed by Hem Shikhar and Dalmia Bharat Sugar with the registrar of companies Tamil Nadu. The merger of Himshikhar into Dalmia Bharat Sugar has been proposed to achieve the following objectives. One, reduce the number of companies. Two, integration of resources of both the companies into a single entity. Three, rationalization of the legal and regulatory compliances. And four, rationalization of administrative compliance and other operational costs. We now look forward to receiving your support and approval of this scheme. Thank you. So I would now request the company secretary to explain the procedure for answer session. Thank you, sir. Uh, we have received request from one unsecured creditor to register them as the speaker of the meeting. Accordingly, the floor will be open for uh, them to ask the question and express their views. The moderator will facilitate this session once the chairman calls the floor open for question and answer. Before we go live with the question and answer, uh, here are some points that uh, needs to be noted for the convenience of the speakers. Kindly turn on your video and also unmute yourself when you are broadcasted on the screen uh, and proceed to ask the question. Please mention your name and the location from where you are attending the meeting. You are also requested to please uh, kindly keep your question very short and brief. Uh, Mr. Anil Kataria, CFO, will respond to the questions. Once we, once you have asked your question, you can continue to watch the uh, proceedings of the rest of the meeting. We can now proceed with the question and answer. The moderator may now facilitate the question and answer session. Thank you, Chairman, sir. Uh, we have a representative from Delhi Electric Company. We would request the representative to unmute himself, switch on the video, and proceed with asking the question, please. The representative from the electric company, may I request you to please continue with your question? Yeah, good afternoon, sir. Good afternoon, sir. So my question is, what would be the impact of merger of Himshika uh, Investment Limited on our outstanding with Dalmia Bharasubar? Yeah, 
good afternoon uh, you know the uh, net worth of uh, dalmia bharat sugar and the himshikar was positive before the amalgamation and it is going to continue to remain positive even after amalgamation so it is not going to have any impact on the creditors so uh, it is not going to reduce any of the claims of the unsecured creditors Oh, yeah, I spoke on mute. My apologies for that, uh, Chairman Sir. That was the only individual who had registered himself as a speaker. Uh, we come to the end of the Q and A session. I would hand it back to the board to continue with the rest of the session. Thank you. Have all the speakers have been given a chance to speak? Moderator. Yes, sir. So now that all the questions are answered, I would uh, put the proposed resolution to vote. Before that, I would like to tell a few things. Unsecured creditors may note that the voting on the KFIN platform will continue to be available for the next 15 minutes to ascertain the results of the voting carried through. Remote e-voting and e-voting during the meeting. The Honorable NCLT has appointed Mr. N. S. Venkateswaran, Practicing Company Secretary, as the scrutinizer for the unsecured creditors meeting. I now request the unsecured creditors who have not cast their vote through remote e-voting to cast their vote e-voting facility available during this meeting. I request the scrutinizer to download the votes. cast at the meeting on conclusion of the e voting at meeting process and thereafter unblock the votes cast through remote e voting further i request the scrutinizer to make consolidated scrutinizer's report of the total votes cast in favor or against and those votes which have been held to be invalid the result of the remote e voting and e voting during the meeting on the scheme will be announced soon after the report is submitted by the scrutinizer by intimation to the stock exchanges and the same will also be available on the company website and on the website of the voting agency this concludes the business of the meeting and i thank you all for your attendance and making this meeting a success thank you
Thank <laughs> you.